What is going on, everybody? Welcome to MBL Live, broadcast 342 right here on the MBL Network. I'm your MBL Network director, Nick Mazesco. We've got four games for you tonight. Two kicking things off. Uh, on one side, we've got the New England Patriots in action. They're taking on the Buffalo Bills in an AFC East battle. On the other side, we've got an NFC West battle between the Rams and the Cardinals. I want to thank Elgato for being a sponsor of MBL Live this entire cycle long. Now, before we get to... Uh, the uh, the players to watch for today's game. Uh, just a, a quick thing you might have got you guys might have noticed it in the uh, in the title of the stream. Uh, but uh, it, it's it's hard to put into words sort of what's been going on in our world. Um, we, we continue to highlight systemic problems um, uh, and you know we here at the MBO we're a diverse group of people. 32 users in our MBL, a full developmental league as well. Um, and so we have people from all walks of life, all uh, ages and races and uh, identities and religions, and we pride ourselves on that. And so to, uh, to see what has gone on in our world, to see um, the continued racial oppression and uh, police brutality... Um, and to see uh, a, a lack of leadership, um, I think, saddens a lot of us. And so we want to be able to do our part um, here at the NBL Network. And, and specifically, uh, I, I would, you know, try to make as much of a difference as we can. And so because of that, uh, our, our entire sub pool for this month is going to be donated to the uh, NAACP Legal Defense Fund, um, a, a fantastic organi organization that is... Uh, you know, their their need is being highlighted right now. Um, on top of that, if you hit the donate button uh, down at the bottom of uh, the channel, it's the banner. If you just click on that one, if you do donate at all, which we do appreciate all donations, those are getting uh, donated to the NCAA, uh, the NCAA, the NAACP Legal Defense Fund, um, and I will be matching all donations 100%. So uh, you donate 25 it's a $50 donation. Um, so anything that you can give to support these people who are uh, doing the, the hard work um, on the boots on the ground to try to, you know, do what they can to, to help what is a, a very broken system right now. Um, so uh, we're doing that, and we're going to do that for the rest of the season. So every NBL Live from here on out, um, every BTF, uh, we will uh, continue to do that support. So um, hit that sub button. Uh, you're doing some good with your 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 free Twitch Prime, um, and if you can donate, um, this is the moment to do it um, and try to make a difference in the world. So um, shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to all uh, people out there who right now are struggling. Um, uh, 2020 has been a bitch of a year, and um, you know we we uh, hopefully there are bright things on the horizon. Uh, but for now, we we must do what we can to help those that need it the most. So, um, you know, a big thank you to everybody in the NBL for uh, for supporting as always, and a big thank you to everybody out there in Twitch land. All right, let's get to our players to watch for today's NBL Live broadcast 342. Uh, and uh, let's start off with that game between the Bills and the Patriots. Ron L. Fitzpatrick has turned into a top weapon for the Buffalo Bills. 820 yards on the year, seven touchdowns, averaging 15.5 per catch. Uh, and for the Bills, I, I mean, as is always the case when you play motor, the key to the game is don't turn the ball over. You need to not play into their strength of creating extra possessions. Um, and because of that, uh, you, you just have to find a way to, to stay within yourself. Uh, I mean, again, the problem is you can't punt either because extra possessions come from punts. So it's efficiency. Efficiency is the key for the Buffalo Bills if they're going to pull off a monumental upset today. Against the New England Patriots. On the flip side, Tyree Jackson. Remember when Tom Brady was uh, in New England and uh, he retired and everybody went, mm, Tyree Jackson, that's not going to work out. And he's been fine. Uh, continued to have a, a all-star caliber year. 3,200 yards, 33 touchdowns, seven, only seven picks. And, by the way, uh, averaging 13.1 per pass. And if you look at that, that's in near the top of the NBL. So they are not I – mean, Tyree Jackson is not just dinking and dunking his way down the field. He's taking big chunk plays. And, and for the New England Patriots, their key is – don't play down to your competition. Um, the the Patriots are the class of the AFC East, and so because of that, um, their their key is just to be who they are. Continue to uh, 
to enforce your will, show your identity, and uh, don't get a letdown here because it's the playoff push. We're in week 14, um, and, and because of that, the last thing you want to see is a, a letdown this late in the season that could take away some momentum going into the playoff. Big shout out to JB for those graphics. Um, our other game, uh, we had a, a switch around because we did uh, move the stream from yesterday to today because of uh, Blackout Tuesday. Um, so those are the only players to watch. Big shout out to JB for doing those uh, last minute notice. Um, should be a fun couple of games. Uh, let me get your predictions in the chat. Um, love to see what you guys um, think is going to happen in these games. Uh, on one side, uh, Patriots and Bills. I got the Patriots in this one in a big win. 35-14. Uh, um, I just don't think the Bills have enough weapons to keep up. I think you're going to see a couple turnovers uh, from their offense. And because of that, I think the Patriots run away with this one and continue their momentum. On the flip side, Rams and Cardinals. I got the Cardinals in this one. Uh, this is a strong team, great quarterback. And as long as Kyler Murray continues to be efficient, um, I, I think it's going to be a, a good game for the Cardinals. I think it'll be a close game because uh, the, the Rams are tough when they run the ball and control T.O.P., um, so I don't expect a, a super high-scoring game, but give me uh, the Cardinals in that one. Uh, I'll take 28-24. Uh, our other two games, by the way, we got a fun game coming up. It's going to be the Broncos taking on the Raiders. The two worst teams in the NBL, they get to face off. That should be a fun match to watch. We also got the Lions taking on a Rob Bennettless uh, Eagles team. Uh, we'll be cutting into those games if any of these get out of hand. I'm looking at you, Bills and Patriots, but you never know. Uh, let me tell these guys to get going, and we will get rolling. Big shout out to everybody in the chat. Love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to NBL Live. It's time to get to game time here in the NBL. The playoff push is on. Can any of these teams make a major move or maybe pull off a big upset? It's all coming up. Broadcast 342 right here on NBL Live. I just want to say, hey, man, this is T.O., the cover athlete of the Madden 19 Hall of Fame edition, and you're watching the gold standard of the franchise mode, the NBL Network. Holla. Right, it's an NBA Live Super Show, Super Duper Show with four games live here on the network. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us. NBA Live Broadcast 342 here on the network. Left side of your screen is the Patriots for Bills. Right side of your screen is the Cardinals taking on the Rams. Should be a great night of action. I'm Nick Kuzesko, your NBA Network Director. Let's go, appreciate all you guys hanging out with us in the chat. Let me pull up the chat here on my phone. As all of my screens have been taken by gameplay, which is always a good sign when you have uh, gameplay taking up uh, both sides of your, your monitors because that means you're rolling. That means you got some good stuff going on. Shout out to Tennessee with the Buffalo Bills starting off with the ball first. Back to pass, looking underneath. Quick, easy throw to get things rolling. Josh Allen picking up a yard. That throw may not have seemed that uh, important, but at the end of the day, just being able to pick up a yard and get Allen an easy throw to kick things off. Is there we go. There it went. Uh, no bomber. I don't know, Brad. Uh, usually, he doesn't do games when uh, there's BTF before it, so. Usually not. First and ten for Kyler Murray, and he's got nowhere to go. Sack on the play. That's Harrington with the sack. Boy, they have missed Aaron Donald on the defensive line. It's a nice little corner route for a first down for Josh Allen. A full screen to the Bills and the Patriots. You can keep an eye on the uh, small screen left side for the uh, Cardinals. And the Rams I'm trying to get Arkin going, but he's going to lose a couple on that one. First and ten for Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. Middle, 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 middle. Two wide receivers. That's Melvin Shepard. Less Bills. Man, I, I, 
Well, a guy who I thought was going to take off in the NBL is that's a sack chase one, which no surprise. It couldn't stay healthy. Never really got into rhythm with uh, the Bills. It's 30 23. That's an easy underneath pass to Arkham, but the Cardinals are going to have to punt this one away. The defense for the Rams stepping up. Tell Grid, by the way, that we're rolling. We only got 23 people here. Uh, it's a Wednesday? Yo, where is MBL? Where is Grid? This is some piss poor turnout. Second and 17. Josh Allen looking over the middle of the field. That's tipped up. That's picked off. Oh boy. Said he couldn't turn the ball over against his Patriots team. The Bills go, hey Nick, I don't care what you think. He's gonna turn the ball over. That's Brackens with the pick. Triple coverage, the Patriots don't miss too many. If you watch BTF Cowboys, you saw my guys miss every single ball that they wanted to pick off. This Patriots defense, they are disciplined. Patrick Fat in the chat. What's going on, Fat? First down and 10. For the New England Patriots, Tyree Jackson. In the shotgun, he's going to hand this off. That is Preston taking the carry down to the 35-yard line. So I'm sure I'm already buffering. We might be already switching to the back end. That is true. That is, that is uh, on uh, NBA Live, his backup game. Second and seven, looking for a little slip screen action. Nowhere to go. Losing four on the play is Preston. By the way, uh, the uh, the uh, Denver Broncos just turned the ball over inside the end zone, and so the Oakland Raiders get the first turnover of that game. But the defense from the Bills able to get a stop on third down. They'll get the ball back here on first and ten. Left side of your screen, the 18 yard line. First and ten for the Raiders off the face mask as well in the return to the 37 yard line. Raiders and Broncos, not two teams of the MBL, but they get to face off here. And we like to affectionately call the 3,000 flushers toilet bowl. Jared Goff at the helm for the Oakland Raiders. Bills with a snap, hand it off, looking up the middle, fighting through tackles. That's Melvin Shepard into the game. He'll pick up a couple. They've had to be careful with his workload, considering how much he's been hurt this year. One for the Bills in the shotgun formation is Josh Allen. Try a different quarterback, so they keep going back to the big armed Josh Allen. He'll pick up a first down to the 32 yard line. Russ, we never got our cage match. I'm disappointed. Let's go, uh, let's go full screen to this, uh, this bad boy. Oakland and Denver, third and two for Jared Goff in the offense. Looks like Denver's going to bring some pressure off the left side. Goff in the shotgun. Blitz coming right over the middle of the field. That was Keith with the catch. And it's a first down for the Raiders. Brought a little dollar. That looked like a little cover two blitz. Here's your problem. When you run those cover two blitzes, it leaves the middle of the field wide open. Angle route to Mack. He'll pick up a first down of the 14 yard. This Raiders offense is looking stellar right now. The 
fix this thing. A drag route underneath. That's Kiki Kuti, the former Houston Texan with the catch. Four of four, 52 yards from Jared Goff to start this game. Down the field, Tyree Jackson with an absolute laser. Absolute laser beam. Down in three, they're going to the strong, close formation. Tyree Jackson in trouble. Boy, the Bills defense playing very strong right now. Some pressure up the middle. Goff on second and three. T-Port, I would love to know what participation is for this one. The 23 people here. Winters with the carry, trying to find some room up the middle. He'll pick up a yard, third down upcoming. That's about right. Here to our reliable stream handoff on second and 19 to Preston. Pick up a couple. Bring up a third and 12. Planet stream, by the way, still buffering. I think it died. It did die. It's, it's gone. And it's gone. Yeah, back to here. Let me pull up our third game. As deep down the middle, Tyree Jackson. Oh, it's popped up in the air. That could have been picked off. We will attempt for the New England Patriots. I'm trying to take the early lead in this game. It is up, it is good. 3 0 your score. The kick is good. Makes the score Patriots 3. So Brad, I was told that, play, uh, that, uh, that Gibbs tested the stream and it was fine. So. That's why we have backup games now. Ooh. That's not what you want to get out of the end zone, young fella. Ooh, what did you do there, T-Jax? Ben trying to throw a pick on first down. That was, that was just impressive how looks for that angle route off that double butt. I'm going to wildcat action, a little bubblegum offense. Jet Sweep is handed off. Jet Sweep is sitting down. Motor doesn't fall for that stuff. Gene Candle out route when in doubt out route. That's Amari Cooper with the catch trying to make a man miss. Breaks one tackle. He'll pick up nice chunk of yard. Give him 22. Handoff left side. It's a first down and more for uh, one they call T-Jax. Melvin Shepard takes the carry. He's explosive when he's healthy. Welcome to the network, baby. Shout out to Z-Star with a 27 months of subscribing and supporting the NAACP Legal Defense Fund. Shout out to Z-Star. Houston 10 handoff to Manny Henderson for the Lions. Shoots back inside as we got a lurky lurk picky pick. Going the other way for the New England Patriots. We start. One of the ardent supporters of the NBL network. Second down and six for the Detroit Lions. They're at the 46 yard line. Manny Henderson, top of the I formation, is they just find nothing on first down trying to run the ball. With Gene Kane dropping back to pass. Going to look right side. That's Amari Cooper falling through a tackle and picking up a first down at the 39 yard line. Man coverage didn't cover really anybody. Red saying Patriots run defense is the chink in the armor of a great Patriots team. Used to be a strength there, but I mean, again, the user strength is there. I don't know about the 
actual uh, talent on the field, but the motor shoots gaps about as good as anybody. It's first and 10. I believe that's Melvin Gordon. He's trying to take this to the house. It's a touchdown for the Detroit Lions. And how about the pick from TJ? Dalvin Cook traded for in the offseason. They thought he was going to be their number one back. Got hurt early. Manny Henderson impressed ownership. He was fantastic, but Cook still gets plenty of carries. And he goes, I only need one to get to the house. Big turnover for the Buffalo Bills as they stay in this game. Right over the middle looking for, I believe that was Cameron Newton. Nowhere to go. 7 nothing Detroit on top over Philly. Little speed option. Ooh, Melvin Shepard hit that juke move. That juke box is nasty to the 30 or to the uh, 42 yard line. He's 37 yards, only three carries. No flare does not. No. And off to Shepard. Welcome to the network, baby. Shout out to K. Harry. We got the gift sub from JP1462. K. Harry, make sure you thank JP for the gifted sub. And JP, thank you for supporting. The NBL Network and the NAACP Legal Defense Fund. First and 10. For the Bills, Josh Allen over the middle of the field. By the way, I said discipline was the key for the Bills today against the uh, Patriots, and he's throwing two picks on it. We're not even happy. First and 10 for the Philadelphia Eagles. No Rob Bennett out with a shoulder tear. In the middle of the field, that is caught. Nice throw to Eddie Valley. Oh, there is Rob Bennett. No, I think he just had the shoulder tear last week. So coming off a minor injury. He is uh, back in the game, and he finds his favorite target, Eddie Valentine. Oh, the little angle route to Melvin Shepard, winding and weaving like it's an icy road. He'll pick up a first down at the eight-yard line. Got a JP with another gift sub, his second in the channel, Jets fly high, double zero. Make sure you thank JP for the gifted sub as the handoff uh, to Joe Mixon goes a little bit. He'll pick up maybe a yard and a half to the six yard line. A pick up of two brings up Bubble screen action. The blocking's picked up. The Bills have the lead. Well, RPO bubble screen. User got caught, and just like that, the Bills take the lead. They've thrown two picks in this game, and yet they find themselves up seven to three with the Patriots offense coming back on the field. Rob Bennett on second and 10, waiting, looking, hit as he threw, but he delivers a strike to who else but Eddie Valentine to the 48-yard line. He is their one wide receiver. I mean, you look at their touchdown numbers, he's the only one who finds the end zone. He's sometimes the only one that gets targeted. He's a matchup nightmare. He started the chat saying Shepard's so good, agreed. Unrealized potential there. He's got to keep it going, stay healthy. Bennett into the eye formation, Franklin Moore at the top of that eye. Eddie Valentine out wide left. That's going to be a handoff to Moore, trying to cut outside. Good defense from the Lions, though, meeting them at the line. No gain on the play. As the Patriots going to take a shot off the top, they have a man. And it is caught inside the 10-5. Touchdown, Patriots. Too easy. Pressed up on Nikhil Harry. You cannot do that. And just like the lead was taken from the Bills, it's gone. Like a butterfly's eyelash. Taking out of 10, Rob Bennett, two wide receivers set. Zach Ertz on the outside of the line, left side. Frank Lamore in the backfield, strong eye formation. It's a weak eye formation. And he's gonna look, when in doubt, the corner route to Eddie Valentine. It is caught to the seven yard line. Eagles in business. JP, no, Patriots are running away with that one. They're at 10 and two, the next closest. The Dolphins at seven and five. Bills are not in the playoff race now. Easily. First and goal, Rob Bennett. Simi feels like a run. Simi feels like he's going to try to hit a little inside zone with Franklin Moore. Yeah, that changed up the play. That's that little bubble screen, the little or orbit screen. Only one guy out there. That's too easy for Rob Bennett and the Eagles. Offense, touchdown, Philly. Hey, Porter, that's a great question. I don't see anybody. 
Grid squad not really showing out today. They've only seen four in grid. Maybe I'm not really showing out either. Kick is up and good. Seven all in Philly. Third down and 13 for the Bills after giving up that big touchdown to Nikhil Harry. A little gun split close action. Two wide to the right, one to the left side. Dropping back is Josh Allen. Waiting, looking upfield, throws it into coverage. Lucky that's not the fourth interception of the day for Josh Allen. They're going to have to punt this ball away. Instructions. Remember, right click for those instructions. Do you got them? Got those instructions? All right, thank you. Yeah, and he wasn't at BTF either. He, I didn't see him tra talking trash. The only person I saw talking trash in BTF was Draco. Is the instructions still need to be seen? I guess they're still instructions. I'll drag out underneath. That was easy for Cam Newton. Nice little angle route to Manny Henderson. Gene Kane, 4 5, 44 yards, start this game. Yep, it's still there. Still there. Ah, I fixed it. That's not Scam Newton, it's Cameron Newton. Different Newton. Slam fist when you're when you're here so much and you call enough games, you, you learn as many as you can. It's, it's just sort of one of those uh it gets embedded in your mind. What a read option. Tyree Jackson take the read option and fighting through a big hit for a first down. First and ten for the uh, Detroit Lions. Two wide receivers, one tight end. They're gonna hand this off. That's Dalvin Cook. Boy, two carries, 47 yards, and a touchdown. That's not bad. A little power O action out of shotgun. Over the top. I heard the double me. The over four. Heard the, yeah, that double me. Uh, no, Titans Bengals had to get canceled. They Because we moved it today, Brad got moved later on work. So they're playing, uh, I hope, later tonight. Or they already played. Unclear. I didn't really play time. We're in the middle of the field. Nice catch. One possession catch. Second and three for the Lions. On the right side. Who else? TJ Hawkinson. To the 18 yard line. Cook's got a lot of juice left. I mean, as long as he's still got jukebox, he's still got that speed. In the middle angle route. How does Tyree get so much time? Uh, good question. First and 10 for the Lions. Looks like they're going to get Manny Henderson going again. They love this kid. They love to run the ball, control T.O.P. It is a handoff to Henderson. Juke move back inside. There are a lot of green jerseys there. Would have liked to see him. He tried to run outside on that base. I thought he had a little more run inside if he cuts it back, but he'll pick up a yard. Ooh, an accurate pass. I didn't go to receive him. To a defender. I don't know. Second and nine, hit a train line. That, that is annoying. He might be looking at the drag route. He hits the drag route. Ooh, decision time for the Lions. What do you guys do? You go for it here? Or third, or excuse me, is it third down? All right, then definitely. Then you're definitely going for it here. That Dobbs with the catch? I got a feeling this looks like maybe a... Let's go, baby. Oh, it's coming Let's out go. looking at a little wildcat action. It's a good setup against the run. Double A gap, not the best run stopping defense. And Manny Henderson stumbling and bumbling. They're going to give him the eight yard line. Or they're going to give him the first down. They are first and goal. That was ugly running into your own guy, but he's still picking up the first down. Yeah. 
Shout out to everybody hanging out with us NBA Live Broadcast 342 here on the network. As the uh, Patriots find the end zone near the end of the half, 16 seconds. Kick is up, and it is good. It's 17 to 7. Looks like they're setting up a stretch run for Manny Henderson, the left side. Trying to move Hawkinson into the backfield, into that fullback position. Trying to run it that way. Cuts it back inside, trying to follow his blocker. That was a real nice tackle by Allison. At the six yard line, third and goal upcoming. Excuse me, second and goal. I'm losing my damn mind. Thanks, Russ. I appreciate it. Man. Yeah, Drago, that, that was bad. I was just one of the uglier Wildcat plays I've seen, but still managed to pick up the first down. Deep shot for the Bills into tight coverage with SWAT. Second goal, looking for halfback way, and this worked in Madden 18. Will it work here? No. That run was so good in 18 and 19, and it has been neutered here in Madden 20. Because that pulling block, the pulling tight end gets shedded so easily, just pushed away. Third and goal to the lines, dare go to the air. Come right, heavy, what's going on, man? That was one final shot, maybe? I'm gonna take a sack. Got no windups. We're gonna half time. Oh, no, we'll take a timeout. We'll take one more. Timeout taken by the Eagles. Didn't like the setup the lines we're gonna go with. October Cook, uh, Cook's sort of that secondary halfback. Manny Henderson, they drafted, they like him in the first round. So they've been utilizing him, but Cook has a touchdown on the day. Comes in when uh, there's a little fatigue. It'll look left side. That's a beautiful play design. That's Amari Cooper with the catch. That was beautiful. You're, I don't know if you saw this. So Cooper had a little delay uh, what slant route. So he's coming in like that. And TJ Hawkinson. He goes out in the corner out. It pulled the zone. So right now, you had ones the zones. They all moved that way. And because of that, it vacated space for Cooper. A little low ball possession catch. Easy peasy, lemon squeeze. For the double boxes, the Patriots and Bills go into the second half. Eagles and Lions nearing the two-minute warning in the first half. Left side of your screen, Tyree Jackson back to work, 10 point lead. Looking to uh, make it uh, a, a ball game here in the third. Play action pass, dropping back, only a three man rush. Only two routes out there, that was a drop cover three. That was too easy for Nikhil Harry. First down at the 24 yard line. First and 10 for Rob Bennett and the Eagles in that single back ace formation, two tight ends, two wide receivers. Frank Lamore in the backfield, Bennett dropping back to pass on first down. Looking over the middle, well covered. He has the post route deep down the field, but can't get away. That's Levy with the sack. They love what Levy's been able to do this year as just like that, Patriots into the end zone. They can do it through the air. They can do it on the ground. That's Preston with the touchdown. And the Patriots have blown this one open. When you give Tyree Jackson that much time, just forget about it. Matt Gay on for the point after. Second and 19 for the uh, Eagles. This is probably going to be verticals. Uh, this is They love to run it on second and third and long because they know there's a lot of drop coverage. There's your verticals. You look up the seam to Zach Ertz. Easy. When you see that matchup, when you see the bunch against the Eagles, it's a lot of verts plays. you got to switch into a man and man up the outside receiver. Shade your guys inside and make sure you don't give up anything easy because against the zone, that's, that's just a money play, especially with someone as good as Ertz. in the chat. What's going on, Coach? Gibbs. Food for cheese. What's going on, all you? Third and four. Bennett under center. Two wide receivers. Look for Valentine here on third down. You see Fats got the user out there. I don't know this is some sort of out route, in route, something like that. He goes to the curl route on the right side. It's caught. Williams with the catch and the first down. Oh, Brady did. I was missing. That was nice of him to say. 
First down and 10. The Bills are saying this game. They'll, they'll drag her out. One doubt, drag her out. Looks over the middle of the field. Looking for Eddie Valentine. He's going to get one of those awesome 10 out of 10 perfectly executed pass interferences in this game. It is awesome, and I love it. Worst part was that was my comment anyways. Ooh, tipped all night. Didn't say that too often. First and ten back into the bunch. And the crosser back at the end zone. Clicked on just a little late. Who else? Eddie Valentine. We got Valentine's Day here in June. It's a touchdown for the Eagles. An extra point away from tying this one up. Uh, Brad, he's been close a lot, but he's it's it he does he finds he's not over the threshold yardage wise. He he finds other receivers a lot. Mike Williams gets plenty of catches. Zach Ertz gets plenty of catches. Just Eddie Valentine's the only red zone guy they go to. Ooh, stumbling and bumbling on a little jet sweep action for the uh, Patriots. That game's pretty much over. They got the ball. They're up by 17. If you ever played motor, you know that one is over. October, I think so. I think he will. Yeah, for sure. 14 all here uh, in Philly. Line's about to get the ball back. A 25-yard line off the touchback, and it's Gene Kane back to work. I like Hawkinson on that scene now. It looks like the... Uh, Eagles trying to match up. Looks like they're going double buzz look, it looks like. Screamer off the edge. Gene Kane with an absolute laser. Oh, how did he get that one in there while being bared down on pressure? The linebacker came in untouched, and Gene Kane found a way to deliver a strike. Left side caught, juke move. Motor, you're so mean. To the end zone, 30 to seven, pending the extra point. I'm hoping for Rudy Cox, I need him to get to 90. I had a superstar uh, scenario for Cox earlier this year. Uh, and uh, it was the game I lost to Flair uh, when he hit a jump ball to Eddie Valentine. He came up short by seven yards and a touchdown. Awesome. And Thirsty Gandalf is online. Let's go, Thirsty Gandalf. First down and 10. Play out of the split close pats. Extra drag wide trail. Looking for the post route. Not there. Didn't look for the drag route. He's got nobody. He's got to throw it late. And he throws it so late that Manny Henderson steps out of the way of the ball and it's picked off. Yeah, once you wait that long, you just got to know in your head, I got to throw this one away. Bad pick, and now the Lions defense needs to step up. You think Eddie Valentine's going to get a catch here? From the outside, first and ten. Man coverage lined up. Might find Williams on the inside. This is usually when, when uh, he either goes to Williams or to Ertz on a corner route. There's a corner route. And it's caught. Porter, stop messaging him during the game. Porter, stop it. Hmm, that was a crispy view. Oh, that was a my view. Look at that full overhead view. That's what we're looking for. Josh Allen over there. Nice throw. Nice cat. Oh, might be too, too little too late. What's up, Under Oath? Good to see you, man. First and ten for Rob Bennett and the Eagles looking right side. That's a little out route. See, that's what he does to stay under the threshold. Is he'll hit Williams on those little out routes, drag routes. He'll do that all day long. Ooh. That's why Melvin Chubb gets hurt all the time. It's the hurdles. Don't even think about it. All right, stop it. Look at Dice slot. This up, look at a tight end post, slot post. Eddie Valentine's in the slot. He's got to know that. It's hard flattening on second and one. I don't know if I like that. That leaves a corner out open. Tight end post. Picked off. Oh, he's looking over the top. That's picked off underneath. Nice click on and pick from Meadows. 
had a step on him, just dead ducked it a little bit. He was looking for Williams over the top. We're going the other way. Stop it. Uh, October, uh, that's called a little Varga throw. I'm gonna see if he will, but a little dead duck. Go for a little jet sweep action, and there goes Cook on the outside to the 25 to the 30. Can he get run down? He's inside the 50. He's inside the 40. Shoestring tackle. Would have liked to see him angle out of bounds a little bit. Save that timeout, but the Lions near field goal range. Bold move from uh, old, old Ric Flair. Went into the nickel 3-3-5, brought a, brought a man blitz, knowing the Wildcat is coming. And because of the jet sweep, that man blitz on the inside gets sucked in. And once Cook hit the edge, wave goodbye. Twenty-eight seconds and counting. Looking left side, out route. Nice throw. Caught and out of bounds. That's Dobbs with the catch. One yard gain. Brings up second and nine. At the 21 yard line. Clinton Dobbs, 22 yards on the day. That's a big first down. It's gonna be a three double buzz, so. I'd like to see Cooper on a drag or something way underneath. He's gonna look for the seam. He might have the outside B receiver if he looks for him. But instead, he'll hook Cooper onto that route. I think. In fairness, Eagles lines were a backup game that started at 9:25. It's just our other two games, both streams are not watching. Yeah, that double buzz. He had the B receiver. You lead that outside. Throw it to the back pylon. It's a touchdown. First and ten. Got to be careful not to take a sack here because it is a 12-second runoff potentially to get back to the line. Four-man rush, Kane looking over the middle. It is caught, he's into the end zone. Just enough speed to get there. That's Golden with the catch, and he is Golden. The Lions score with 15 ticks on the clock. Don't call him bronze, don't call him silver. That man is Golden. Into the end zone, Lions take a one touchdown lead. This, uh, this Patriots-Bills game is just sort of on for ambiance. Let's see, what do you think the odds are that Fat has sent? Let's find out. We're gonna do the fat sound test. He's got sound. He's got sound. I'm so proud of him. It's been so long. He hasn't been able to stream it. It doesn't sound, and now he finally does. He's a real streamer out there. Rob Bennett under center on first. Listen, it's not a loud sound, but it is sound. Uh, it looks like a... Hey, Fat. Hey, bud. Hey, this is Nick. Uh, you good body soon to be neighbor. Um, What happened there? Did you panic a little bit? A little panic misclick? Sorry, guys, I had a private conversation. My bad. 21 14. They're going to try one Wildcat play, see if they can't spring him. Look for the counter here. Where's the power? Or bring him more. He's not going anywhere. We'll go to halftime. 21 14 lines on top. Just bullying him. 31 7. Got like 18 running backs for Motor. I think I think I'm one of his running backs. I'm unclear. Bad. It didn't matter. Both were there. Both were there for the pick. Didn't matter. You were standing in the little circle that that has the little indicator where the ball's being thrown. Just catch them. The return goes nowhere. Gerard Davis with the tackle. First and ten for Philly. Big drive here to start the half. Now, Porter, that's just a smart guy because he knows there are dingbats like you out there. First and 10 for Bennett. Looking for the little play action. No, it's going to be a crossing route. That's a corner route to Ertz. Oh, he just stepped out of that one. Why is Gerard Davis on the field? i got to ask Fat this one. He is a complete liability in the pass game. 
Like, I'm not saying that, like, he... I don't know what his roster looks like. I think we looked at one point as the Patriots... Have, we're gonna have to take some knees. Um, but, man, oh, man. I think he's got, like, 58 zone coverage. He, he, he can't... 58 zone, like, 60, man. He can't... He can't cover anything. And he's still out there. Franklin Moore, by the way, three carries, negative two yards. And uh, into the uh, victory formation are the Patriots. They're going to take a couple knees here. Chew this clock all the way down, kick their field goal. Dak Prescott into the game. Let's go, Dak. Proud of you, bud. Second down and eight for Rob Bennett and the Eagles. Sack. Pressure off the edge. It's Lloyd getting in the backfield. With the sack, third and 11 upcoming. Let me switch to the, just the straight-up single view. And there we go. Beautiful. Third down and 11. Gun punch. Do we have another Verts play? Might be Bill's Verts for the Eagles. All the time in the world, and yet he's still threw it in double coverage. I thought he might have had Ertz first, second over the middle. That's good coverage. It looked like a little match concept on the outside. Philly forced to punt this one away. That was a golden opportunity. Can the Lions take advantage? Another player using their starting halfback as their punt return. I always think that's a bold play. At least for the Lions, you got Dalvin Cook in the back. So uh, if if Henderson does get hurt, you're fine. But we've already seen the pec injury go take uh, Saquon Barkley. I don't think it was on a kick return, though. Here's Manny Henderson trying to cut back inside. Nice day so far. Eight carries, 48 yards, over five yards per carry. Dalvin Cook with another 50 on the ground of the touchdown. Want to thank one more time Elgato for being the sponsor of NBL Live this entire cycle long. Check him out, Elgato.com, uh, if you want to uh, up your streaming game. First and 10. Gene Kane looking for TJ Hacky Sacks. TJ Hoffenspoofer all the way inside the 25 to the 23 yard line. That one too easy. You have a cover two blitz, send the tight end right up the seam. If you don't make a play, TJ is still running. First and 10 of the 23 yard line for Gene Kane and the Detroit Lions. Got to think this might be a toss play, a little toss crack action. It is good block on the outside, but too many green jerseys. Black jerseys? They're black. Green. I got chat pulled up and everything. Second and nine. Play action pass for Gene Kane. Looking for the corner route through it. Steer the, that was a nice play. Is that corner out? All right, let's let's try this. So there's your corner out. He threw it about right. Right there. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Didn't let him get into the into the zone on the outside, the purple. He's trying to throw the stretch alert. Look, he's going to get a touchdown. Flag on the play. Is he going to get DPI? Yes, it is. Decline that bad boy. It's Amari Cooper into the end zone. Touchdown for the Lions. <laughs> Brad saying we need more Eddie Valentine. Of course. I missed the extra point. Sure. That's about right. Straight up pulled that past the bar. Like on the scoreboards all around, it still says kick is no good. That was...
Uh, Porter, because you got timed out by Nightbot. That would be why. First down and 10. Gene came back into the shotgun. Two tight ends on the left side of the formation. Amari, one tight end on the right side of the formation. Just Amari Cooper, the lone wide receiver. I've never seen that formation before in my life. What's up, Maki? Good to see you, man. Twenty-seven, twenty Lions on top. Forty-two seconds and counting in the third quarter. Gene came back into the shotgun, into that three tight end shotgun set. With only Amari Cooper out there. This and Henderson out there. Look out for him on a streak if he's matched up poorly. I think he's they've got a corner out there. I think he's in like a dime. Look underneath. That's caught by the tight end. He's gonna go out of bounds. Short of the line to gain. No, nope, they're gonna give it to him. They're gonna give it to him. That ball was well behind the line to gain, but they're gonna give him a first down. I need another man. We're in crazy town. I'm going to wear two hats. I don't care anymore. Put your fours up in the chat. There is actually a hole in my wall. I don't think I made it, though. My wife came in and was like, why is there a hole in the wall? What did you do? I don't, that, I don't believe it was me because it's too high for me to throw my controller. I'm pretty sure it's from the guy who lived here before. He hung a picture there poorly. 27-20. Lions, second and eight. Oh, good block. Didn't follow it, but good block. It was a nice second level block. Manny Henderson has 71 yards on the day. Twenty-seven to twenty. I don't know, Slam Fist. That's a good question. I would have stayed outside left, but good pursuit in the backfield to bring down Henderson at the three-yard line. Fat goggles. Porter. It was thirty-one to seven with like three minutes to go, like ten minutes ago. Put the ball down. We moved away a long time ago. Craziness. Absolute craziness. 27-20. It's just got the lead. Yeah, I forgot about that. I don't like these runs where there's the, the motion because it tells you you're running left. But the Eagles completely misaligned and Fat ran right into his tackler. Had the whole left side. I just, 
when you send that motion out there, you're going, I'm running this way. Yeah, he got he got blown out. Goal line on goal line. That's gonna try a little slam action. Hmm. I love it. But Henderson's got enough speed to get outside. See, when that guy broke off the edge, that's exactly what I pictured him running him down. But Manny Henderson showing off the speed into the end zone. His first touchdown on the day, the Lions. Look like they're gonna make this kick. It's up. It's good. Sound off the celebratory music. Except Brad, cause he's on hot spot. Made an extra point, so he has extra points. 34 means he's up by two scores. How about that? It was easy, just kick it down the middle. It was easy to kick extra points. Anyways. Rob Bennett with a nice pass. And uh, the hurry up offense is on the way. Did you, did you not like your line, Brad? Did you not like that one? First and ten, better than the pistol. Robin back to pass. Oh, my. What happened on the left side of that? And is leaving against his third sack of the day. Listen, man, there are only 27 people here. So uh, you guys get a show. A bomber. He didn't even show up for NBA Live. Mark him down participation-wise, please, Porter. Thank you. Also, I do love the fact that uh, Brad, uh, the last drive before the kick return, said we need more Valentine. And uh, it, immediately he returned the kick. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Second and 20. 3.02 to go in this ballgame. Rob Bennett dropping back to pass. Looking left side. It's double coverage. Yeah, it's not picked off. But it's good defensive play. Boy, Bennett's got a weird throwing motion, doesn't he? He's like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Reezy, uh, clap. And if your choice is, make your choice right now and make it very carefully. First, second slam fist, I thought so too. I was like, oh, he just caught it right in between the zones. That was a throw you could make in like Madden 17. You could throw in between the, the purples and the blues. Undroth calling, it's calling a shot, Babe Ruth style. I'm saying, Reezy, choose carefully. <laughs> Brad saying touchdown. Brad, do you have him in fantasy? Is that why you keep saying this? You still in the playoff? Third and 20 slip in the corner out. Caught by Zach Ertz. Maybe fourth down. Got to go for this one. That looks like he's going to man him up. Trust his uh, his secondary. See, so I believe he can't get his fourth sack. Thank you. Thank you, Rusta. Fourth and seven. Eddie Valentine now tight to the line. Looking for an out route to Valentine. Switch switched to zone. Pressure down goes Bennett. And it was Levy one more time. Give him four sacks on the day. Five total for this defense. That was nasty. It was a nasty move on the outside. Oh, you wanted to break the record. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Well, he's not, he's not going to do it. I think he had one touchdown today. Now the Lions just have to not, well, not fat this one up. Don't project it. Toss by Manny. I wouldn't even have Manny Henderson in the game. Like, if he's your starter, bring Dalvin Cook in. Give Cook the carries. I know I know he wants, you know, Henderson to get Rookie of the Year, but I just, see, when this happens for me, Dylan Mitchell takes a, a jet sweep in Week 17 to score and uh, breaks his arm. Hey, Porter, guess what? Just lost your mod badge again. It's a shame. 
He had that mod badge for almost like 15 minutes. Oh, he recognizes greatness. Did Ruster just unsub? Anybody else see that? Did anybody else see that? Ruster's got the badge when he said, yeah, I'm going to get an autograph too. And then he doesn't have the badge. Did you just unsub? It's not called for. As Brad would say, you ain't worth me I, Matt Rusta. Okay, it's back. Twitch, Twitch lost its mind. Third and 13. Ooh, that run stick. Not pretty. All right, just making sure. That Porter, you could have had it, man. But then you talk trash to one of my biggest supporters. You might have missed this one. All right, start the music up one more time. The field goal fans get another kick. Don't know how he's got good internet. Not playing from a truck. He just don't give up something. He's up by 14 yet again. Project Fat can't kick, can't throw, and cannot run. And should we talk about that run stick? It is bad. It's bad. It's really, really bad. Project Fat changed his name to Project Bad. Anyways. <laughs> GG's in the chat. Right, bro. Worst part is I know Fat's watching right now. Because he was in chat earlier. Hope you enjoyed my music. Uh, next NBA Live, we're looking at Saturday night for week 16 action. Um, no. Friday night. Today's Wednesday. Friday night. Two days. Uh, we'll have week 16 action here on the network. I hope it's week 16. I hope we're advancing soon. Um, so Friday night, week 16. Uh, and uh, I think we got a commissioner corner coming up too. Somebody, I, I briefly heard that. Um, so Friday night, it's going to be probably 9 o'clock Eastern time right here. Uh, and, um, Saturday night, I got something in the works, not for MBL, but, uh, make sure you, I'll, I'll have more information on that on Friday, uh, still getting that scheduled, uh, for a charity tournament, and, uh, yeah, ooh, might we get an Eddie Valentine? No, we're not, he's not gonna have enough time to spike this ball, that's your ball game, big shout out to everybody who hung out with us tonight through all the craziness, yeah, it was a weird one. But uh, sometimes you got to bring the weird. Bring a little bit of fun. Shout out to everybody who came out tonight. Appreciate all you guys. NBA Live Broadcast 342 will be up on YouTube uh, tomorrow. And uh, shout out to all the guys in the chat who came out and supported all those guys who subbed that. Uh, supporting the NAACP Legal Defense Fund. We'll be doing that all uh, over the next couple of weeks. So make sure you keep tuning in. Keep subbing. Keep donating. Uh, appreciate you guys. Uh, for everybody here at the NBL Network, I'm Nick Vazesco. We'll see you next time right here on NBL Live. I just want to say, hey, man, this is T.O., the cover athlete of the Madden 19 Hall of Fame edition, and you're watching the gold standard of the franchise mode, the MBL Network. Holla.